The iPadOS 17 beta versions are out and I've got it installed on my iPad 9 gen. So let's take a closer look at it. So first of all, you have to enroll in the beta program and after you're done with that, so go to the updates and you need to select the iPadOS 17 beta from the list and then when you check, you will get the latest updates. So the biggest change is regarding the lock screen. So while on the lock screen, just press and hold and if it tells you to unlock, just press and hold again and then unlock. And now we can start customizing our lock screen. So click on the plus icon and we have this host of pre-made themes and uh, on the top you can see options to customize different aspects. So this is the astronomy wallpaper and it has two uh, designs for this earth and moon and we have other solar system planets as well. And the animations you can check out are so smooth. So it is really well optimized. So this is a solar system wallpaper. Um, I'm guessing all this will move dynamically with the real time day and night we can also edit the clocks the clock format font and add some widgets and after the customization is done we can simply apply and it has changed the wallpaper for the lock screen as well as the home screen we get other wallpapers as well like this one which has the depth effect so the clock is behind the subject and we can also switch between day and night mode of the wallpaper And we also have this uh, kaleidoscope like of uh, wallpapers and you can see the transitions um, they kind of really optimized it and looks really good it does not have that depth effect but still looks really cool and we also have a live weather wallpaper so it kind of detects your weather uh, in real time and changes the scenery according to that next we have the emoji wallpaper and uh, unlike the other wallpapers have, uh, we have seen this one we can create ourselves so we can type any emoji of our choice from the options and once we are happy with it we can apply and set it as our wallpaper we can also use our own photos from the gallery and if the it recognizes the subject it will show you the depth effect option and the depth effect makes it look really realistic and cool like this one other option that i've noticed were regarding the gestures for the multitasking so i don't remember it was uh, previously or not but you can drag an app and and choose to have it in multitasking mode with any other app of your choice which supports it of course and it kind of remembers it so even if you uh, leave the app applications you can still access them together as you can see in the recent so it makes the multitasking much easier and really intuitive as, as we do not see any stage manager in a13 bionic so this is really good and we have the new Apple Health app, uh, which has all your health uh, records at one place. So if you have a Apple Watch, it will sync to it automatically. But you can also add data manually if you want, so it is more accurate. And uh, so you have option for that too. And it is a really good feature for someone who tracks, keeps track of their fitness data. We have all of it at one place. So that is a cool new addition. So that was for all the things that I've noticed that was new. If you find something new, you can comment it down below. I'm really happy they have added the lock screen customization finally. So if you like this video, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.